All right, hey, what up? So I'm back, and uh, you guys voted, so I'm here to deliver. Yeah, you guys voted on three Darth Quickies versus one regular length video. Now, it's been a close call. It was it was very close, so I might actually uh, compromise. I might do uh, two Darth Quickies and one regular length video. It's probably what I'll end up doing. But, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Welcome back to Darth News, special edition. Everybody loves a little bit of irony. Special edition, I can't believe that actually fucking happened. Now, obviously the title of this video totally gives it away, but let me just break it down for you. That's okay. Do you mind? Can I break it down? Let's break it down. Uh, okay, so in a nutshell, like in a little nutshell, basically what's going on is there's this uh, amusement park. This, well, it's, not, it's not an amusement park, it's an attraction, not an amusement park. And this attraction is all about the Titanic. So there's like um, a partial life-size replica of the Titanic and it's at a slant and there's like a big fake iceberg and people can go there and kind of experience what the real Titanic was like. So these uh, people, we don't know what they were doing, but somehow they were <laughs> okay well, these these three these three people these three tourists visiting this uh, attraction somehow managed to <sighs> oh fuck they they managed to um somehow ended up on the losing side of an iceberg a, a giant iceberg wall this big prop that they had built um in, inside this uh location and i don't know if they were trying to climb up it or something or, or if it was just old and you know they don't have like regular maintenance checks on it i don't know i don't know but somehow these three <laughs> these three paying customers who wanted to experience that titanic got a little bit more than they bargained for when the uh iceberg fell on them so not only did an iceberg sink the titanic um it also <laughs> <laughs> fell on these three customers uh but real quick side note little little fun fact they're now saying that an iceberg probably wasn't the reason that the titanic sank yeah believe it or not they're saying that there was a an explosion in the combustion and the or in, in the engine excuse me um that caught fire and blew a hole out the side of the ship and that was the hole that was um that was the uh the reason the, sh the ship sank i don't know I should stop smoking weed? Yeah, I know. I know. Now, archaeologists and scientists believe this uh, new theory because the, um, the the side of the ship that was damaged by the iceberg isn't blown inward, it's blown outward. Uh, it, so it, you, the, the the metal of the ship is pushed out, like like the explosion happened from the inside, not from the outside. Because if it happened from the outside, then, then it would be in. So, I, I don't know. Who knows? Doesn't matter. That was just a side little rant because that's all I fucking do here is rant. But basically what I'm trying to say is glasses suck. I don't know why I was wearing them. Well, now, you know what? It's really bright. I do. Now I know why. I remember. <laughs> anyway, so this group of uh, tourists were attacked by an iceberg. Basically. So let's jump into it and see what's going on. Applejack, hit it. All right, so let me just kind of summarize this real quick before we jump into the tweet, uh, explaining what happened, I guess, and it's also like an apology tweet, but anyway, so there's three visitors that are visiting this Titanic Museum, this like attraction, um, and they were injured by a falling iceberg. I'm not, I'm not fucking joking, and I don't think they expected the exhibit to be, you know, quite so uh, realistic. <laughs> Uh, so the Titanic Museum attraction is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it allows visitors to experience a life aboard the Titanic with exhibits where they can, you know, feel like 28 degree water and experience the sloping decks of the ship and the stern and as it was like descending and you can sit in the actual size uh, lifeboat. Um, but they didn't know that they would get absolutely destroyed by a real iceberg or life-size iceberg. Uh, anyway, so what might be considered one of the most ironic accidents of all time, uh, the three guests who were injured were taken to the hospital after the collapse of this uh, iceberg wall, I guess is what it was, in the Titanic Museum. Uh, but still, the uh, extent of their injuries at this point is still unknown. And, and again, I, I kind of doubt the guests expected the Titanic experience to be so immersive <laughs> and realistic. Uh, I'm not laughing at their injuries. Uh, I hope they're okay. I'm just laughing uh, at, the, at the fucking irony of the situation. Woo! It's just too good to be true. All right, so let's jump over here to the uh, response from the Titanic Museum attraction over here on their Facebook page. Uh, they said, quote, on the morning of Monday, August 2nd, the accident occurred at a Titanic Museum attraction. Our iceberg, um, uh, our iceberg wall collapsed and injured three guests who were taken to the hospital. At this time, we do not know what the extent of their injuries are, and our thoughts and prayers continue to be with all those who were affected, including the first responders, uh, who I'm sure were uh, taken back. They were probably holding back uh, laughter. I'm just gonna guess, depending on how serious the injuries were. Hopefully they weren't too bad, but we'll find out uh, eventually, and maybe I'll 
follow up with the story and maybe, I don't know, probably not though. Let's move on. Um, so immediately following the accident, Titanic Museum attraction was closed. And as of the morning of Tuesday, August 3rd, we reopened uh, to ticket pa ticketed passengers. The iceberg wall does not currently exist and the affected area has been blocked off for the time being. We anticipate it will be at least four weeks for the iceberg to rebuild. The safety of our guests and team members uh, is always on top, uh, top of mind. Our maintenance professionals are in the process of reevaluating our quality and safety guidelines, and we will make all modifications as necessary to proactively ensure that uh, the well-being of all who experience the Titanic Museum attraction. Mary Kellogg, Jocelyn, and John Jocelyn, owners. So, you know, uh, I mean, maybe just make the room extra cold. Why, if you want that to be like the real Titanic experience, keep the room at 32 degrees and put a real fucking iceberg in there. You know, why not? Just get a giant piece of ice, Turn the temperature way down. I'll offer them like, you know, official uh, Titanic Museum attraction uh, jackets to wear. And then they can, you know, go experience what it was really like on the Titanic, you know? So that way you don't have a, uh, uh, <laughs> a, a fake, you know, iceberg falling on, on your guests and your, your patrons. I mean, maybe they were trying to climb up it. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what it looked like. Again, this is going to be a Darth News quickie, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail here. You can look it up on your uh, own good time. Uh, anyway, for now, that'll, uh, that'll do it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Whatever your thoughts might be. You know, if it's, uh, whatever, you know, just leave, just, just leave me a comment. Just say, cool story, Darth. Thanks for sharing. Or something like that. I don't know. Or just say, Darth, you're an idiot. That works too. Anyway, until next time, don't you dare... <laughs> Anyways, until next time, don't forget to pull out that is P-O-O, -O, motherfucking L. And, uh, please consider like, sharing, subscribing, hitting that bell. Going to my merch store at darthnews.com or my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash darthnews and donate as little as one dollar a month. Just one fucking dollar a month. Or just one dollar one time. That's it. Just just shoot me a dollar bill and and I will keep making videos. How about that? Anyways, until then, much love, guys. Take care. Until the, ne until the next video, which is coming up really soon. Don't talk crazy. You want to commit suicide? Pills are a lot easier. Hey, hey, for the fucking Arctic. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. L listen, little bitch, we don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist to my neck, saw rocks. Gucci flip flops with Louis Vuitton socks.